Victoria's great alpine valleys, the bustling townships in northeast Victoria with picturesque valleys and magnificent Alps. The towns of Bright, Myrtleford and Mount Beauty are nestled at the base of the incredible Victorian Alps and Alpine villages including Falls Creek, Mount Hotham and Dinner Plain. Bright is the most highly populated centre and is bright by name and brilliant by nature. In autumn, Bright's famous avenues of huge deciduous trees, the oaks, the elms, the poplars and the Japanese maples, paint the town a spectacular array of red, orange, gold and beautiful yellow. Bright's first settlers arrived after the exploration of Human Hovel in 1824 and the cattlemen began summer grazing their stock in the high country in the middle of the 19th century. The gold rush hit about the same time with the nearby Buckland Valley producing rich finds. A new railway line was opened to Bright in 1890 and now forms part of the 98 magnificent kilometre Murray to Mountains Rail Trail. Bright is a bustling village full of wonderful things to do and a myriad of places to stay. You'll find markets, boutique shopping, a brewery, liquor distillery, fine dining, wineries, an art gallery and a host of festivals and events such as the Bright Autumn Festival, the Great Bright Rod Run and the Bright Spring Festival. There are plenty of popular outdoor activities too. Fishing, canoeing, rafting, cycling, bushwalking, four-wheel adventuring, tandem microlighting, hang gliding or paragliding. There are many walking tracks in and around Bright too. And if golf's your game, a great setting is guaranteed at the Bright Country Golf Course which hosts significant tournaments annually. Myrtleford is steeped in history from the early settlers who grew tobacco and panned for gold in the 18 and 1900s. And you can still see tobacco kilns as you drive on the Great Alpine Road today. Myrtleford's fields now grow timber, walnuts, beef and grapes. And the town's big events are the annual street market in January, the Myrtleford Festival in March and the wonderful new La Fiera Festival in May which celebrates all things Italian. You'll find heaps of activities all year round, including golf, cycling, restaurants, wineries, walking trails, tennis. and a lot for the kids to do as well with playgrounds and skate parks.
Harrietville is a beautiful historic village with loads of features including a lavender garden, trout farm, ice creamery, and country pubs with great meals and a relaxed atmosphere. Harrietville is also home to a museum which remembers years gone by and local historian Ian Stapleton reflects. Uh, you've got not only the history of, of the gold miners, which is a whole thing in itself, but you've got the, the history of, of the Hotham Road, which basically started from here, which brings you with, into bullockies and pack horse trains and the old uh, coaches that went up there in the 1880s and through to the 1900s. Then you've got all of the ski history in the early days with Spargo and Eric Johnson and supplying all of the, the um, early lodges up there with um, his horses with special snowshoes on their feet to get, rather than carve through the snow like we do today with massive machinery, Eric would wait until the early hours of the morning until everything had frozen up, then he'd put snowshoes on the horse and just walk over the top of the snow. They always amaze me what they did and what they did with so little. And, and yet they seem to have had just as rewarding a lives as we did, using so much less in the way of resources. He used to walk around, most people walk around when they're going to camp for a while, they carry a tent on their back, but Spargo just had a sheet of rusty old roofing iron that he'd strapped to his back and he'd sleep under that. Then the 39 fire came through a massive great fire which went from Harrietville to Omeo in less than an hour. And there, in a place where Spargo had walked many times uh, in his travels, prospecting, he'd walked past this place dozens, hundreds of times probably, there was a, a rich gold-bearing reef poking up out of this opening, looking up at him, and there's a little red robin supposedly fluttering around at the time, and he decided that uh, he called it the red robin. The red robin ended up one of the wealthiest, one of the richest mines around. And there's good museums around. There's the museum in Bright, um, has lots of uh, history of the mining and in the early days on Buffalo. Uh, then the one at Harrietville has got all about the, the mining here and all the Hotham stuff. That's a good start, I think. Have a look at some of the museums and talk to a few people there. There are stacks of activities to do in Harrietville. Fly fishing in the Ovens River, bushwalking, riding through mountain trails and streams, relax with a cold drink and watch the mini mountain bikers in action. At the heart of the Great Alpine Road, head toward Mount Hotham and Dinner Plain on your motorbike, or hit the dirt on a trail bike and explore the scenic countryside. An aptly named town, Mount Beauty, sits at the base of Victoria's highest mountain, Mount Bogong, which is 1,986 metres above sea level. This beautiful little town was planned and created by the State Electricity Commission in the late 1940s and was originally home to thousands of workers who built the Kiwa hydroelectricity scheme. Today, Mount Beauty is regarded as an adventure mecca and the focal point for a variety of adventure activities, including mountain biking, road biking, four-wheel driving, horse riding, bushwalking, gliding and hang gliding, as well as tennis, swimming, boating and fishing. If you're up for a challenge, try the golf course or walk to the top of Mount Bogong. Or if you'd rather take it easy, have a picnic or a barbecue beside the swimming holes in the Kiwa River or two of the local wineries and cafes. 
The newly opened Fainter Falls walking track is a must-do and was developed after the 2003 bushfires exposed the awesome waterfalls. Mount Beauty is home to some major festivals too, including the Bogon Cup International Hang Gliding Championships held in January and the Mount Beauty Music Festival every April. Mount Beauty is certainly extreme to serene and you'll find activities here for everyone. We are delighted to announce our new name. We are now known as Great Alpine Valleys. Great Alpine Valleys is well serviced through the major transport corridors connected to Sydney and Melbourne via the Hume Highway, which is only a 35 minutes drive from Myrtleford. Albury Wodonga is just an hour away by road and offers regular flights all over Australia. Trains run to Albury, Wodonga and Wangaratta. Victoria's Great Alpine Valleys is well serviced by bus links between Wangaratta, Myrtleford, Bright and Mount Beauty. And during the ski season, several bus companies offer daily links between Melbourne and the resorts. Victoria's Great Alpine Valleys is truly a region of four seasons. From cool and clear winters with average maximum temperatures of 11 degrees, the Alpine region boasts fewer wet days on average than Melbourne or Sydney. The summers are long and hot with average temperatures of 27 degrees. Spring and autumn are perfect for busy outdoor living with average temperatures of 19 degrees. For the more serene adventure seekers, there are many activities that are sure to inspire. Indoors you'll find an art gallery, an array of museums, antique and boutique shopping, and coffee stops. Step outside and you'll unearth a multitude of activities such as golf, tennis, walking, swimming pools, natural water holes and barbecue and picnic facilities. Or of course, make a friend for life at the alpaca farm. Whether you're travelling on four wheels or two, you'll find some of Australia's most spectacular touring routes in Victoria's Great Alpine Valleys. If you're in cruise mode, a loop around the region will give you straight stretches along the Great Alpine Road and Kiwa Valley Highway on the roads between Mount Beauty, Tawonga, Bright and Happy Valley. Happy Valley, of course, is also home to wineries, scenic flights and a beautiful lavender farm and, of course, the spectacular views of Mount Buffalo. Two-wheel motorcycle travellers will find plenty of excitement in the twists and turns of the mountain roads leading to Falls Creek, Mount Hotham and Mount Buffalo. And for cyclists, there's 98 kilometres of glorious high country views on the Murray to Mountains Rail Trail between Bright and Wangaratta. The great newly sealed Bogong High Plains Road is open for touring and is named the Bogong Alpine Way from Bright to Omeo. It delivers a truly memorable High Plains experience. Great Alpine Valleys is a true cool climate region and our wines have been honoured with awards and rave reviews. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir produce wines with great depth of flavour from a long growing season and you'll also find impressive Pinot Gris, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz and Merlot, along with Italian varieties such as Pinot Grigio, Marzamino and Fragolino that have been introduced by Italian settlers into our region. Nearly a dozen wineries are dotted through our valleys and towns including Myrtleford, Porpunka, Tawonga, Tawonga South, Eurobin, Gapstead, Rosewhite, Cancuna South and Mongans Bridge. A number of our wineries invite you to enjoy their wines with local cheese and sensational anti-pasto platters, traditional Tuscan food or a menu created around seasoned local produce. Victoria's Great Alpine Valleys is gaining a fine reputation for its wonderful restaurants and cafes and you'll find a wine range of options such as Italian and French to name but a few. For those who enjoy fine dining at its best, our region boasts a two chef hat winning restaurant in Simone's of Bright. There are numerous other options for diners, from gourmet pub grub to restaurants serving an array of dishes including Thai, Sri Lankan or modern Australian, or to a fun family barbecue down by the river. And it won't take you long to find a tempting breakfast or lunch destination in one of our scrumptious cafes. We are Great Alpine Valleys, 
We are Victoria's Great Escape. For more information, contact our friendly operators seven days a week on 1800 111 885 or visit our website greatalpinevalleys.com.au and they'll help you to plan your Great Escape.